Welcome back to the weight room. Thanks for tuning in. We have a short little episode today, not even really a full episode. It's actually something that I've been wanting to do for a while and getting around to just a little bit recently. I've been able to do it, and that is gym reviews. And actually, I did one after Alpha Land, after summer shredding. I did one on Alpha Land, and it was a really cool experience. So just got me thinking, you know, getting to go to different gyms, experiencing what they have to offer, and doing like a little rating after. So we're going to do that today. I have a few in stock for, I guess you want to call it that. We have a few um, gyms we're going to talk about from our trip to Florida. So we're going to talk about that. And today, one specifically called Amped Fitness. So we're going to be talking about that today. So before we get started, though, just want to remind you to subscribe wherever you're listening. Go to uh, YouTube if you're not listening there. I know it's not the biggest place to listen to podcasts, but we also have not just the podcast on YouTube, but we have vlogs and things like that um, that we're doing. So check out the YouTube channel. Go subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. And then check out the sponsors that will be uh, down below in the description. So today, like I said, I want to talk about my experience at Amped Fitness, and it was it was a pretty interesting experience, really, to say the least. It was um, it was not something that I was expecting right off the bat. Let me tell you about today's sponsor, Let's Get Checked. They're a worldwide leader in at-home testing kits, so you can get a complete look at your levels without leaving your home. Simply go online and order the test of your choice, and in just a few days, you'll get it in the mail in a discreet package. Using Let's Get Checked was quick and easy. I ordered my testosterone test and in just a few days it was at my home. The best part about Let's Get Checked is everything you need is in the kit, from the directions to the supplies and even the package to return it. I took my test in the morning, sent the package back that day, and in just a few days I had my results. Using Let's Get Checked was one of the best experiences I've had regarding my health, and it gave me a sense of empowerment knowing I can know and have control of my own health. If you're ready to take your health and fitness in your own hands, check out Let's Get Checked at trylgc.com slash the weight room and save 25%. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break here just for a second. Let me tell you about Smoking Gun Coffee. They're a veteran-owned coffee company that strives to produce a quality coffee at an affordable price. They only buy coffee from small coffee farmers around the world with a cup score of at least 85. Each batch is roasted to order for maximum freshness. They also donate a large portion of their proceeds to organizations that help local communities, veterans, first responders, or you can donate to the foundation of your choice at the checkout by going to www.smokinguncoffee.com. That's S-M-O-K-I-N, Gun Coffee. When it comes to science-backed supplements that taste great, 2NS is your one-stop shop. They truly maximize quality by making their own supplements in-house. With over a combined 90 years of experience, 2NS's team of industry experts has a commitment to research, quality, development, and innovation. The body is sacred, so give it the best. Check out all 2NS has to offer at secondnaturesupplements.com. That's 2ndnaturesupplements.com. And so what I mean by that is we walked in, and to set the scene, there was four of us going to work out. And, you know, I was very excited. The first workout of vacation, we were actually there on a vacation, but I still wanted to go work out. I wanted to experience some new gyms. So I'm pretty excited about it. About to go do a a back and biceps workout. That was what our plan was. So we walk in and naturally it's like you're looking for somebody to check in with, say, hey, we're here. You know, we don't go here kind of thing. Uh, How can we get a day pass? So nobody's sitting at the desk when you first walk in. We kind of continue to walk, and there is somebody facing away from the door, kind of uh, on, on, on the back side or whatever you want to call it, the side of the desk. They have their setup going right there. And that's really when the fun begins, if you want to call it that. So we walk up to them, kind of around the corner, and they see us. And the first thing that they said is, more or less, why are you here? So it wasn't exactly the warmest of welcomes, I don't know, maybe if we scared them a little bit, frightened them, startled them, whatever you want to call it, just, you know, being a, a few people coming in at the same time, but I don't think we look threatening or anything, um, but they got a little bit of an attitude about it, you know, they were like, you know, who lets you in, you know, I, we we asked for like a day pass, hey, we're here for just a day pass kind of thing, and they're like, who let you in, you know, it's $50 per person, 
So we kind of got a little taken aback a little. I mean, I think reasonably. We're like, I don't know. We don't know who let us in. We don't, like I said, we don't work out here. We don't know anybody here. So she... It's like, okay, you're going to have to wait. You technically can't even be in here, in here until 9 o'clock, and it's like 8.55 at this point. And we're just like, what's what's going on here? What's like, is this person just having a bad day? You know, surely everybody here is not like this. So she tells us we have to go wait outside until 9 o'clock, and we're just like awestruck by that. We're like, wait outside? Why can't we just, you know, it's like 5 till. We didn't say that, but you know we're all thinking that. We're like, okay, can we go sit over there in those chairs? It seems like a reasonable thing to ask. It's like, yeah, you can go sit in those chairs until nine. Um, to me, that was just like, what kind of customer service training training is this person not received? Um, you know, you would think somebody, especially four people. You know, that's a decent amount of people to come in at one time for a guest pass, and they didn't end up charging for it, which was fine with me, obviously. But like. You know, it's four potential people. You don't know if they're out of town. You haven't asked us if we're, if we're from out of town. So that's four potential new members, and you're going to act like this to your potential new members. It kind of just really hit me in a weird way. It was all, I wasn't sure what to say. You know, I really wasn't sure what to do, what to say. It was just weird. And by the time we went over there and sat down for a few minutes, we were almost to the point of just getting up and leaving. Um, but you know, we, we liked what the gym, the actual gym part looked like, and we wanted to experience it, so we didn't leave. So while we're waiting, we see several people come in, but one person is struggling to get in, and it's auto-locked, I guess. You know, for us, it wasn't somebody, the door just wasn't closed, so that's why we got in, but it's just like auto-locks until a certain time, I guess, of the day, and this person couldn't get in, and he was, you know, checking all the doors. There was like four doors. He would check, pull them, and go to the next one, pull that one. And they did it like, what, like two times each on each door or whatever. And at this point, there's already people like workers, employees at the desk. And I don't want to say they're like they're watching him, but they're not like responding. Obviously, you know, you can hear the doors trying to be open. They're not even like responding to that situation and going over there and helping the guy out or whatever, anything. Um, Eventually, they somebody does go over there. And the first thing they say when they open the door is, Something along the lines of, I think is, this is what I heard, is you have to get the app to come in, like to open the door. And it's like, not a, oh, hey, or sorry it took a minute for us to get up here, or how's your day going, or, you know, anything. Like, have a good workout after, you know, you let the person in. Like, they just let them in, said that, and then walked back to wherever they came from. It was it was just another bad example of customer service and customer um really appreciation for somebody coming into the gym that you work at. And um, it kind of, that again, gave me just a bad feeling of this place. Ready to take your supplements to the next level? 2NS is here to help. 2NS strives to help you attain the highest degree of health and performance. Combining cutting edge science and the best from nature, 2NS gives fitness enthusiasts and athletes the fuel they need. Check them out at secondnaturesupplements.com. That's 2ndnaturesupplements.com. This podcast is sponsored by Smoking Gun Coffee, a veteran-owned coffee company that strives to give back to those in need. Don't forget to use code TWR10 for a 10% discount at checkout. This episode is brought to you by Move Your Body Apparel, a Lexington-based, community-ran, premium activewear brand that promotes the importance of daily movement. For the rest of the year, MYB is donating a percentage of every order to the Special Olympics of Kentucky. Save 20% off your first order with the link below or use code TWR20 online at mybapparel.com. So at 9 we got up and we went over to the desk to sign in to basically go work out, get our day pass. And with a person standing right there at the walk-in table desk area, we were just kind of waiting for them to like tell us what to do to say, Hey, and it was like, it wasn't a long time, but it was like maybe five or 10 seconds of just kind of like an awkward exchange of nothing. Um, and then we just eventually were like, Hey, we want to guest pass. We want to work out here for the day. It was a, uh, it was an interesting little kind of awkward situation, but he goes on to say, and there's this thing, I guess none of us really looked at it, but it was a QR code on the, on the desk and it was you scan it and you sign in and that's how you get your pass for the day more or less and you give them your ID. So we did that. You know, we, we nothing really crazy happened there, but we did that. Um, but they didn't talk to us at all during like the two or three minutes it took for all of us to do that 
sign up thing on our phone. There was no like, Hey, how are y'all doing? Where are y'all from? You know, what, what workout are you going to do today? How'd you hear about us? There was nothing. It was complete like lack of interest for what our experience was going to be. It was just so interesting. Like there was no customer service training. Another example of just no customer service training. So once we all signed in, we go walk into the gym, like actual gym area past the check-in area. And uh, we look around, we go, they have like a little upstairs area with some stuff. I'm not even really sure what was up there. I know there, I think there was some cardio stuff and maybe some other stuff, but there's some stuff upstairs. We go up there and while we're up there, we kind of joke around about going on a self-guided tour. And then an employee kind of hears us who's up there, overhears us and asks what we just said. So we said, hey, we're just, you know, on a self-guided tour. And they're like, oh, okay. And then they just proceed to walk down the stairs and didn't say anything. They weren't like, oh, do you want me to show you around? Or I can get somebody to show you around? Or how'd you hear about us? Once again, how'd you hear about us? Where are you from? Like nothing. There was no sort. It was almost like they were robotic. It was like they had no emotional interest in what we were doing there. It was very strange. So they just kind of walk down the stairs and we look at each other and just start laughing. It was just it, like we we're just bewildered at what was going on with these people. So we proceeded to actually start our workout. Um, like I said, a little back and biceps workout and actually have a vlog up of that workout. Just a little short video of that. It was a, a good workout. The equipment was nice. It wasn't too packed since we were there at like 9 a.m. on a weekday. Um, they had plenty of options for basically any machine or like piece of equipment that you wanted, you know, any body part that you wanted to work out, they had adequate stuff for that. They had plenty of plate weights and plenty of dumbbells, things like that. One thing that struck me weird was I didn't even realize, but there was music going. It was so low. Somebody actually told me later that there was music, but I didn't hear any music. Usually it's good to have some music on at a gym, in my opinion, just because it gives it a little bit of background noise. So if you're somebody who does maybe you know, grunt a little bit when they're lifting weights, it's not as awkward or, you know, you can have a conversation with that without somebody hearing you from the other, on the other side of the gym, something like that. So it kind of does give a little bit of a good background noise. If there's a little music going, I don't always love when it's super loud. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it just depends on the environment on how the music is, but it just seemed like it was pretty low. Um, the lighting in the atmosphere was pretty much what you would expect for this kind of gym. It was just, you know, a little dim good I guess good for aesthetics good for that kind of thing I think that's just kind of the way the gyms are going nowadays is more towards that dim side um it wasn't too too dim though but it was it was just that atmosphere that you expect at that kind of gym um it was it was definitely like a younger audience kind of place you know people who not necessarily your average gym goer is going to go there one thing that I didn't like per se and I get why they do it, but they don't allow tripods. Like I said, I get it's going to take up space. But a lot of people today do record their content. And if you don't have somebody to work out with you to take your content, you know, it's hard to get that without a tripod. Um, so it's kind of a give and a take on that one. I, it doesn't bother me that they don't allow it, but it just surprised me because of the gym that it was. It was just that place that you would expect people to be recording content, to be posting it. And I think if you're recording content in a gym, especially if you're tagging the gym, it's a win for the gym. You know, it just gives people an opportunity to uh, get, expose their followers to your gym. Another thing I found a little bit strange was they did have a basketball court. I think it was it was pretty small, but they had like a maybe even a half court. I can't remember for sure. But it was like VIP members only, it said. And once again, I kind of get that. But at the same time, like, hey, charge me 10 bucks, charge me 20 bucks to use the gym for the day, you know, or use the basketball court for the day. I guess that's the gym too, but use that for the day. And you know, why not? Why not make an easy 10 or 20 bucks? If people, you know, if a five on five game wants to come in and play in your gym using your basketball court, you can make a few bucks off that, you know, or even if a few people want to come in, like why not make money off of everything you have in your gym? So other than that, overall, the workout was good. It was a good workout. Like I said, pretty good atmosphere. There wasn't a ton of people, so it wasn't packed. I could use anything I wanted. All the equipment was nice. Um, really no complaints from the workout experience. Once the workout actually started, pretty much everything was good to go. So something funny that we did uh, we did have happen, or we did notice, rather, was that when we left, they had a thing where you could 
leave a review on Google for the gym and you get a free drink. So people were doing that. And we noticed that there was a one star, I think it was a one star review on there. And it said, uh, all these five star reviews are just so people get a free drink. And, you know, it sounds kind of harsh, but honestly, like if that's your experience, it'd be hard for me to give somebody a five star review on Google with that kind of customer service experience. So my experience, I'll probably rate an eight out of 10 just as this one time experience. Because to me, it was kind of entertaining a little bit about how like aloof these people were, how uncaring these people were. It was entertaining that first time, but if I had to deal with that every single day, I would probably get uncomfortable and a little bit frustrated with like the lack of care. Um, They just felt like they were too cool to care a little bit. You know, the staff just didn't feel like they were there for you. They felt like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I have to come to work today and I have to be around these people and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to talk to my coworkers and interact minimally with the people who come in. So as far as the whole gym goes, amp fitness, I would probably rate it six and a half out of 10. And I think that really it has the potential to be a 10 out of 10. In my opinion, it's just a matter of getting that customer service training. Like what is the deal with with the lack of caring. I don't understand it. I just, it has, like I said, it has the potential for me to be a 10 out of 10 and it has, you know, really great aspects to it. It has really great aspects to it. Let's just say that. But the aspect of the customer service was what takes it down to a six and a half out of 10. Um, like I said, I couldn't, I wouldn't work out there. I wouldn't get a membership there if I had to deal with that every single time I went in, if it was that kind of energy, because that's a big part of fitness. A big part of your gym experience is the energy, right? I mean, people around you, um, you feed off that. And being in a gym like Alpha Land, where it's top notch everything, I mean, easy 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10 experience. When you go to a gym that is a nice facility, has nice equipment, a good environment as far as the atmosphere of the workout space goes. This episode is brought to you by Move Your Body Apparel, a Lexington-based, community-ran, premium activewear brand that promotes the importance of daily movement. For the rest of the year, MYB is donating a percentage of every order to the Special Olympics of Kentucky. Save 20% off your first order with the link below or use code TWR20 online at mybapparel.com. It should be a 10 out of 10. Your, Your people there shouldn't scare people away from coming in or make them uncomfortable when they do come in. So easily they could be a 10 out of 10 amped fitness could be a 10 out of 10 if they get their customer service, right? So it was a good workout. I won't say I regret going cause it was an experience. Um, the single, like I said, even the single day experience was an eight out of 10 because it were, there were a few uncomfortable moments, but for the most part, the, it was entertaining. Like I said, that one time it was entertaining, but, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's my gym review for amped fitness. Stay tuned for more gym reviews coming. We got two more coming from our uh, Florida trip. So stay tuned for those and then stay tuned for some more. We got, um, coming around here in Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, as well as in December, when we go out to the Olympia, we're going to be going and getting some workouts at some, uh, at some gyms out there in Vegas. So we got a few on our list. We can't wait to go try them out, check them out, get some content and tell you what it's like. So stay tuned for all that. Make sure you're subscribed to YouTube to see the uh, the workouts that are coming from those gym reviews. And uh, other than that, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed to everywhere. Go check out the sponsors. Have a great day. I'm out.